Our wife and I had recently lost a, uh, lost a baby. And I was just struggling with life. I was just, uh, it, it was just, everything was just so noisy. And I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't quieten it down. I kind of had planned what I was going to do. I remember going up to it as, I remember walking into this particular room a couple of days before and just, and just eyeballing this mezzanine where I was going to tie two ethernet cables together. And this is what really upsets me most, it was my... It was my little boy's store that he used to use to, to go to the toilet. That's what I was going to stand on. And once I decided that I was going to do this, this amazing calmness came over me. And it, it was, it was like water, running water, but it was really calm. Really calm and I felt really peaceful. And I stepped on the stool took the cable and there was a knock on the door uh, and he shouted you all right fella How, how's things this morning and that was just enough to knock me back into reality you can say oh good try Freddie James oh what a great save from the keeper oh yes And I sat Katie, my wife, down in our home, and I and I just like I am now, I was bawling like a kid. Just said to her, "I'm so sorry." And it hit her like a freight train, an utter freight train. It's the the, the hardest thing that I've ever had to deal with, and this is somebody that 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 went through commando training and flew through commando training. Uh, and came out as, as, as um, one of the top recruits. This is by far the toughest thing I've ever had to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Some days are amazing. Some days you are flying with the eagles and other days you're scratching around on the earth and you don't have a purpose. You've got low self-esteem, no self-worth. I'm a shit dad, I'm a crap husband, I'm a shit businessman. Sometimes I don't want to talk about it there and then, and she'll just simply say to me, are the waves coming in? And that's something that we developed amongst the two of us, whereby it's, it feels like you're stood on the beach, and it's a sandy beach, there's no rocks around you, and the waves are building, but they're out at sea. The storm clouds are building, and the birds are dispersing and you just see these waves getting bigger and bigger. And then suddenly, they hit you. And they hit you with everything they've got. And it just takes the, the life out of you. I didn't talk to anybody. Just let it, I just let it build up and build up and build up and build up until the only thing that was gonna happen that it was gonna blow. I think if we can encourage people to speak out and have a voice and not be afraid and not feel stigmatized say i'm struggling right now can you just perhaps give me a hug or something or you know tell me it's going to be all right